Hi everybody, today I have been reading and learning about orange essential oil and I've been doing some studying about to common toxic ingredients that are found in dishwasher soaps, the powders that you find in the store. I don't use one from the local store, I use an all natural, healthy, plant based one, but I'm going to share with you what I use, why I use it, and why I don't use what I used to use. So let's get started with orange essential oil. When I'm talking about the oils, I'm only talking about Young Living essential oils. Those are the ones I know, love, trust. I know where they get, they're getting their oils, so I know what I'm getting. Okay, so there's two different labels for orange and orange vitality. So orange label has instructions for how to use topically and aromatically. The white labels are called Vitality and they have instructions for how to ingest the orange or the oil. But the content is identical. Orange essential oil is cold pressed from the rind. Young Living takes that oil, puts some in the orange label, some in the white label. The plant origin is the United States, South Africa, Italy, and China. There's a key constituent in the orange oil. Please, if you don't already know about limonene, go look that up. It's L-I-M-O-N-E-N-E. -N -E. There's an 85 to 96 percent. So definitely want to look that one up. Limonene, that will help you know even more about what orange is capable of. Okay, so when I am inhaling orange, when you're inhaling orange, there are some fragrant influences. Whenever we put it in our diffuser or we put it in the palm of our hand and inhale, we have the benefit of this clean, fresh scent. It's an uplifting, happy oil. It's relaxing. Children, adults even, can use this when they're going to go into a situation that they maybe don't know what to expect. It's a very appropriate oil for that. It can help encourage a restful night's sleep, especially for babies. Now, if you're going to use it topically, maybe on the bottom of a baby's foot you would dilute so be sure you're using a reference source that you are comfortable with that you know and trust um, there have been studies done on orange essential oil I highly recommend that you go to pubmed.com p-u-b-m-e-d.com <clears throat> when you get there do a search for aromatherapy orange and dental so right now I'm gonna put a drop here to get that fragrant influence. I put a drop in the palm of my hand, stir it and inhale. And it uplifts the spirit, so the mood, it's uplifting. So it's not just gonna affect me either, it's gonna affect who I'm around. So if I put it on my wrist and I'm moving my wrist around, everybody around me is gonna inhale it and they're gonna be happy too. Okay, so yeah, when you go to pubmed.com and search aromatherapy orange and dental, you're going to see a study there that I want you to see um, that will tell you you probably want to use orange before you go to the dentist next time, or at least have it on and on, on and around your children also. Okay, orange vitality is the one that we talk about for supporting body systems. Very good oil for supporting the immune system, the circulatory system, which includes our um, blood, our heart, our blood pressure, veins, arteries. Uh, respiratory system uh, there is a lot of good a lot of good support that comes with the orange essential the orange vitality but orange you might also rub it topically on muscles after exercise good for supporting uh, for helping with wrinkles that are associated with aging it's very good to put on maybe skin that is a little dull and it's a re it can really help revitalize your skin um, so here are, some, here are a few of my favorite ways to use the orange essential oil and orange vitality. I'd love to hear what, how you use your orange essential oil also. So, Ningxia Red. If you have not heard of Ningxia Red by now, you need to know about Ningxia Red. That is my favorite whole body nutritional supplement. Well, one of my favorite ways to use orange is to put a drop or two in about two to four ounces of Ningxia Red, and it just sort of gives a little bit of punch to supporting my extra support for my circulatory system, my uh, immune system, all those systems that we just talked about. I also like to put it in my water. I find that it helps me drink more water to use my Vitality oils in there, and orange is one of my favorites. I just put a couple of drops in there and I'm supporting those body systems we talked about. 
when you are preparing or cooking a dish, maybe that has orange, put a few drops of orange, orange vitality in there. A fruit uh, salad, maybe you might put a few drops of it and give it, give everybody that's partaking of that salad extra support for those body systems. When I'm using the orange vitality, uh, orange topically, I like to put it in the palm of my hand and inhale. I like to put it on my wrist. I like to wear it in my diffuser jewelry sometimes. I don't have any earrings, but I've seen earrings that are good for diffusing uh, the orange or any of the essential oils that you want to inhale. They make bracelets for men, women, children. I know a lot of parents will send their children to school with the oils on their jewelry, so it's a really good way to help them benefit as they go on to be in the day, uh, going to that uncertainty to the uncertainties of the day. I like to apply this one topically to the back of my calves, my knees, my thighs, so I can lay on the. You can lay on the floor, prop your feet up on the wall, and that's going to just be so good. Um, a good way for you to benefit. The citrus oils, including orange, are photosensitive. So you you don't want to put a lot of orange essential oil on you and just go like lay out in the sun. If you know you're going to be in direct sunlight or UV light within three days uh, full sun, you probably don't want to put a lot on then. So you would probably want to use it a little more sparingly. Use it in areas that you're not going to be exposing to the sun. Okay. At the time of this recording, June 2018, Young Living, the monthly promos, they give us a lot of free things. We get a free orange vitality with our essential rewards orders. So this is a good time. If you have not looked into essential rewards, that's how lots of us get our stuff for free. And at 100 PV, they give us a free orange vitality. Okay, moving on to the dishwasher powder situation. I used to use one from the local store. I became aware of toxic ingredients and common everyday things and so I began looking up some of these ingredients. When I learned what was in the, 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 the powder, the dishwasher powder I used to use, I no longer bought that toxic uh, everyday cleaner for my home. And now I buy a plant-based all-natural one. Okay, so what, I, what you can do and what I did is looked at the environmental working group EWG.org. I looked at the dishwasher powder information about the one that I was using. I looked at the individual ingredients that make that up. They give it a score, a rating. And there were several things in the, uh, for the one that I used to use that were in the some concern to high concern area, specifically mentioning asthma, respiratory, uh, skin allergies and irritations, developmental and reproductive toxicity, cancer, environment. So I don't want that in my home. I don't want to contribute to any sickness for myself or my family by bringing in toxic ingredients. There was also evidence found for high level of concern when it comes to aquatic life, very toxic to aquatic life and has long lasting effects. Okay, so when I became aware of that, I started doing some digging and looking and I now very happily use the Thieves Automatic Dishwasher Powder. It has, a, it has the orange essential oil in it, so that's one of the reasons I wanted to share with you. So I do something called transfer buying. I no longer buy the toxic stuff at the local store. I just add this to my monthly wellness box. Sometimes I don't need a new one every month. I just get it when I need it, so once a month, or um, I might not get it every single month. <clears throat> okay, so this one's a plant-based cleaning powder. It doesn't have any synthetic surfactants, which is what they add to the, to the dishwasher powder and laundry soaps and things So to remove dirt. This one doesn't have any synthetic stuff like that. It doesn't have artificial fragrances. The other one did. No dyes, no phosphates. It is infused with the essential oils. So when I was using that one from the store, I was running the risk of having a toxic film on the forks, the spoon, the plates. I don't have that problem or concern now. I have, I don't have to worry about it. I use my Thieves dishwasher powder and I know that my family, myself, we are safe. So, okay, 
This has a scoop in it. I just use one scoop, which is one tablespoon. If you have hard water or if, if the load's especially, you know, dirty, then I will use two. But when you're putting your hand into the dishwasher powder, if you're using one from the local store, if you're if the smell smells toxic, if your hand is making contact with it, what are you potentially absorbing? What, are, what might be left on the dishes you're washing? Okay, I have no concerns about putting my hand directly in here. I actually love the smell of this. It's got a, a citrus orange fragrance, and, uh, and I know it's safe. So it does have Thieves Essential Oil, which is cinnamon bark and clove and rosemary, lemon. It does have lemongrass and orange. It has something called soap berries, which are soap nuts that are wild, harvested in the wild. It's uh, plant-based cleaning agents that remove grime, grease, and food particles from the dishes. So you cannot, you can't go wrong with something plant-based. Okay. The uh, they do the soap berries do produce soap that with fewer suds so it's safe we know it's safe for the modern dishwashers that we have in our homes again one tablespoon for a normal load two tablespoons for hard water or heavy loads i do love the orange lemongrass scent okay guys so if you've got questions about orange essential oil or the thieves dishwasher powder or even the toxic ingredients you might come across if you go look up the ingredients in the current dishwasher powder you're using i, I highly recommend that you go at, look at ewg.org and again the website for looking up the effectiveness and the studies that have been done on orange essential oil go look that up on pubmed.com p-u-b-m-e-d you'll be amazed at what you learn there's a lot of science behind these oils take care let me know any questions you've got and hope you found this very helpful take care